friends, it's Carrie from thrivingwithterminator.com and I just wanted to share this really neat trick uh, that I learned um, from one of my many YouTube uh, rabbit holes that I went down. Uh, it has to do with calligrapher.com and that's calligrapher without the E. Um, you can register for a free account, um, verify your email, and then you can get creating. Um, so that's what I did. I registered my email as a free account um, and it's going to look like this. So then you're going to click start app and it'll bring you here. Um, you are going to want to click create a template. Um, now I'm going to show you how to do that digitally and not with printing it out. So you're only allowed to use 75 characters. Um, I'm going to choose minimal English and I'm going to choose minimal numbers and minimal punctuation and this kind of error message will pop up but I'm going to show you how to do kind of a workaround uh, when it comes to that. Um, so you are going to want to uh, click download a template um, and a template will generate for you. So this will pop up and I am going to also click characters as a background because that will kind of give you an idea of what you need to trace or what characters should go in each box. Um, so it will generate a download for you. So you're going to click on where it says calligrapher template and a PDF uh, will pop up. So you are going to want to click the square with the arrow up in the top right corner and you're going to want to export it to um, some type of PDF uh, notating app. I use GoodNotes 5 um, but whatever you use is is fine. Um, so this is what it looks like when it pops up. So you can choose what kind of pen you want to write with um, and then you can also choose what size you want your pen to write with. So do you want it really big uh, and a thick bold line or, or do you want it a really thin um, kind of uh, gentle line or a thin stroke. Uh, most normal um, pens I guess will be around the seven millimeter. I happen to like mine a little bit thinner. Um, I like it 0.3 or 0.5 um, but let's let's go crazy today and let's 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 choose a 0.7 um, and see what that looks like. Um, so after you choose your pen size or what you want your pen to look like you are just going to start um, filling in your boxes with your font. Um, so you can start by, by tracing what's in the boxes if you want, um, or you can design uh, the kind of font that you want to be uh, represented in each one of these boxes. So I'm just going to start um, filling in my boxes. So remember how I told you that there was a workaround. Um, it can only accept 75 glyphs, so I'm actually going to choose four that I don't use that often when I'm writing or typing, and I'm actually gonna leave those four out. I'm gonna leave the percentage, the ampersand, the plus sign, and the equal sign out, so that when I'm finished, I will only have 75 glyphs. So I'm just gonna start and, and finish each one of these letters. Okay, so I have all of my letters done. Uh, what I'm going to want to do now is again, that little box with the arrow up at the top on the left-hand side this time, I'm going to want to click that. I'm going to export all, and I'm going to export it as a PDF. Um, I am going to save it as a file, and I'm going to save it on my um, iPad. Um, I'm going to just change a name, make up a name, I guess. Um, my fonts. Um, I guess that's good. Um, and I am going to add a smiley face. No, can't add a smiley face. All right, what about an exclamation point? Let's do an exclamation point. There we go. Okay, so I am going to save it. I have a folder called My Fonts um, because I've started to kind of play around with these things. So I'm gonna click Save. Um, and then I want to exit out of here and go back to Calligrapher where I'm going to upload this template. Um, so um, I guess it's gonna have me log back in. There we 
here we go. Uh, up at the top, I'm going to click where it says My Fonts. And I'm going to upload a template. I'm going to search for that template that I just did. So there's my font and then I'm going to click upload template. And it's going to take a second and think about it. Um, I actually live in rural Maine and sometimes I think that mice on wheels generate my internet speed. So sometimes it's a little slow, so just bear with me. Um, but when it uploads, there we go. So you can see all of your characters. And at the top it says that you have 77 glyphs and remember we only need 75. Um, that's actually because it picked up on that percentage sign. So I'm just going to click the trash can. Um, and it also picked up a little bit um, on the ampersand I think so I'm gonna click the trash can so now I have 75 uh, glyphs and that that was our limit on the free account if you want more you can certainly upgrade your account and pay for the monthly fee um, I believe it's somewhere around eight dollars a month but there's all of my letters um, so now I am going to just kind of uh, make up my mind I'm going to edit font details I'm gonna change the spacing a little bit between my letters I think um, because I really, when I personally write, I don't space my letters out a lot. So I'm just going to kind of change it down a little bit to make my letters a little bit closer together. And depending on how the words look, I might end up changing the word spacing as well. So I'm gonna click save. And then you can build your font. So I'm gonna click build font. Okay, it's gonna ask you for a name, so uh, you can make up any name for your font. I guess we can go with uh, Thriving with, um, I guess we could just name it after after me, Thriving with Thurman or Thriving with Therminator. And then I'm gonna click Build. And that is my font. So it shows you uh, what it would look like in a paragraph of just my font. And then you can click on alphabet and you can see your handwriting um, in the alphabet. Um, but how cool is that? Like, that's my writing typed out. Um, so I just think that's the neatest thing. Um, I actually think the letters are maybe just a little bit too spaced apart, so I'm actually probably going to edit it. So you could tap anywhere on the outside of that screen, uh, go back to edit font details, um, and you can change um, to wherever you think that you might want the letters spaced. Um, and then just go through that same process again. You'll click build font, you'll rename it. and then you'll click build. And there's my font again. So what it looks like all typed out in a paragraph. Um, so now, once you're you're happy with that, um, you can test it out. You can write whatever you want to, um, just to kind of see what it'll look like. And if you're happy with it, up at the top are your font files. So it doesn't matter which one you click on, um, but you can click on either, either one to install it on your iPad. So when you click install, this will pop up and you are going to open with, and you're going to need some type of font app. I use iFont, um, but whatever font app that you have, I'm sure it's fine. And you're gonna look for your new font. So there's mine right up at the top, Thriving with Terminator. You're going to click install and allow. And now you're going to want to go find it in your, um, your settings app. Um, it will say profile downloaded and you're going to want to click on that. You're going to click install, enter in your passcode and click install. And now we have our font downloaded on our 
iPad. So when I open up um, a document or a PDF, or even if I'm typing in, in Word or PowerPoint or slides or Google Docs, um, I'll just type in what I want to write. I will change the font to my new font that I just made, Thriving with Terminator. Let's make it a little bit bigger so you can see it. And there it is. That is my handwriting in a typed out font. So my thoughts with how I can use this in the classroom is that everything has become digital now. Um, so I will use this to write out handwritten messages to my students. Um, I can attach these to their assignments or um, in their comments. I can upload them as a picture um, and send them to my students. But I think that this does have an application in the classroom for sure. If you need more help with this or a one-on-one -on -one tutorial, please let me know. Okay, y'all, that's it for now. Um, thank you for watching, and if you thought this was helpful, make sure you hit like, hit subscribe, and also share with anybody you might think would find this useful. Uh, if you have any questions, make sure to check out thrivingwithterminator.com or shoot me an email, thrivingwithterminator at gmail.com. Uh, this has been a Terminator Thursday, and I'll look forward to sharing with you again next week. Have a great weekend, y'all. Bye.